Hello and welcome to everyone joining us today. Farming is about looking after livestock and part of that is making sure that the, they're well fed. Now with fish, that's not so easy. We're talking about hundreds and thousands of fish in a pen being fed millions of pellets and it's all happening underwater. Today I'd like to talk to you about feeding fish. Where we've come from, what is our operations today, and the digital transformation that is taking the art of today's feeding practices and applying the science of AI technology. I had my first experience feeding fish shortly before my 20th birthday when I was hired as a farm hand on a salmon farm in New Zealand. At the time, feeding fish meant going to a store, picking up a 25 kg bag of feed, lubbing it out to the cage and throwing it in the water with my hand. And from that first moment when I threw pallets into the water and I saw the fish explode with enthusiasm, I was fascinated and I didn't realize that I was starting nearly a 35 year passion to understand what was going on and how we can improve that process. So why is this so important? Well, you don't have to spend long around the aquaculture industry before you realize that feed is an important cost. In fact, it can be as much as 50% of the cost of production. But feed only becomes feeding when the fish eat the pellets. And as simple as that may sound, in the environments that we're working in, that is the daily challenge. Making sure the fish eat the pellets is the art of feeding. During the 80s and the 90s, the development of centralized feed systems were great because they replaced our arms. So now we had a system for throwing large quantities of food into the pens. But we also realized that the surface activity that we'd been using as indicator of appetite wasn't good enough. So we explored a range of different technologies to be able to detect the pellets and we settled on the underwater camera as the best solution. Here's a photo of a farm in Chile about 20 years ago where we even black out the curtains so we can sit there staring at these little black and white screens on the hope of seeing a pellet so we can shut off the feeding. Thank goodness the technology's moved on from then and now we have fantastic cameras, high definition, digital cameras, pan and tilt and controlled it by a winch. And I think that's the most important development that we've had in the last few years. And I remember the first time that I fed fish with a camera like this, you went from staring down a tube at a very small black and white screen to suddenly being able to see the full expanse of the fish inside the pen. You could see the behavior of the fish, you could see the pellets coming in, and the fish would start to ball and you could see them moving around, reacting to the pellets, and by adjusting the feed rate, you could actually adjust a little bit the size of the ball. And then with time, you actually learned to anticipate when they were going to stop feeding. So we went from detecting pellets to actually using fish behavior as an indicator of appetite. And the first year we fed a farm like this, there was a, another increase in important gain in feed conversion, but probably the most dramatic advancement was the growth, because we now had the confidence to feed the fish according to their appetite without the fear of wastage. So where are we at today? We take all these feeders and we put them in one room and we form a group of like-minded professionals that share the same passion for feeding and they share the insights, they motivate each other and we basically get our best feeders feeding more pens. So what do we ask these men and women to do in their, their control rooms? Basically, it's watching a video like this. They can look at the fish behavior, keep an eye out for pellets, and with time, as I said before, a good fish feeder will anticipate when the pellets will be coming and they'll adjust and turn off the feeding. But in essence, what we're asking them to do is watch, wait, adjust, and then turn off the feeding and then go to the next pen. And a good fish feeder <coughs> can get very good results, but not all of us are great fish feeders. And even the best of us are limited by our ability to manage multiple data streams and recall the historical performance of the pen we're actually feeding. So the next improvement to the art of today's feeding practices is to apply the science of AI technologies. In this video, you can see 
12 simultaneous video streams of pens being fed on the same farm. The AI engine is using a series of algorithms to calculate the level of fish activity while at the same time detecting and counting the pellets. Then by crossing these two data streams is able to generate a recommendation bar that you can see at the bottom of the video clip there. When the bar is to the left, it'll be red or yellow, indicating increased risk and perhaps time to adjust or turn off the feeding. When it moves to the right, it'll be going blue or green, indicating maintain course or perhaps increase the feeding if you wanted. In addition to that, when the bar goes red, it generates what we call an alert. And an alert is where activity has gone down and pallet count has come up. It captures that moment, it takes a video, and it sends it to the cloud for later analysis. And I'll touch on that a little bit later when I talk about the management tool. And as I said before, the highest cost of production is the feed. And yet, as an industry, we don't have a record of what's happening in the pen while we're throwing the pallets in. This tool is powerful because it gives us that auditable trail. Now today this system is installed and working on 20 farms and across five different countries. So it's not just a glimpse of the future, but it is a reality now. So this is a view of the management tool I referred to. This is a view of one week's feeding for a pen. And you can see the lines there, green line representing the activity, the blue line, the pallet count, and the red bars identifying the alerts. If we drill down one day, and we can look at it one week, you look in more detail at the particular day and you'll see the feeding rate, the reduced activity, high pallet count, and the red bars. Now if we click on one of those red bars, we can open up and we can see that video clip that I talked about before. Here you can see low feeding activity, high pallet counts, and confirmation to the feeder that it was correct to shut down the feeding. So a very powerful tool for understanding and improving the feeding while at the same time giving an auditable trail for the single biggest on-farm expense. In partnership with Observe Technologies, we are now able to integrate the multiple on-farm data sources into the AI engine and enable it to directly make adjustments to the feed system. It works across a range of different systems and a number of different data sources. Conceptually, this is very similar to the adaptive cruise control in the car, with maybe a little bit of lane assistance. In this short video clip, you can see the AI engine is now detecting pallets, as indicated by the red rings around the pallets. Below, you can see the yellow line where the activity has already uh, reduced and the recommendation bar has gone to the left and is red and the AI system, rather than just generating an alert now, is taking control of the feed system and when you see the blue graph that's stepping down, that's adjusting the feed rate right up to the point where it stopped the feeding. So your cars slowed down and it stopped. So from the early beginnings of hand feeding and surface activity through to the development of centralized feed systems and underwater cameras, We've come a long way in 50 years. And change takes time, but the rate of change is accelerating massively today. Now with the introduction of artificial intelligence and the integration of the feeding systems, we are in an historical moment of digital transformation of fish farming. So there you have it. The art of feeding can now be complemented with the science of artificial intelligence, empowering fish farmers to better measure, manage, and manipulate their feeding for optimal results. Thank you.